For conspiracy theorists, the mystery of the so-called Yeti is the gift that keeps on giving. Since the 1920s, climbers in the Himalayas have been under the spell of tales by Sherpa porters and guides about a wild and hairy creature, also known as the Abominable Snowman. More recently in 2007, TV producers armed with infrared cameras spent a week in the Coomba region where Mount Everest is, and they produced evidence of what they claimed were day-old footprints. You're looking at five digits, the shape of a foot, the heel, very anthropomorphic, very human-looking, but also enormous. In 2011, scientists and Yeti enthusiasts came together and said they were sure the creature lived in Siberia. On a visit to the Kimarovo region, the discovery of hair and a large footprint inside a cave only increased fevered speculation. Now fresh research is tackling the Yeti mystery. Professor of human genetics Brian Sykes studied hairs from two unknown animals found in the Himalayan regions 800 miles apart. After the most advanced DNA tests available, he found that a sample completely matched that on a database with an ancient polar bear jawbone found in Norway, possibly dating back around 120,000 years to a time when polar bears and brown bears were separating as different species. He reckons the mysterious animal in the Himalayas could be a hybrid of both. The research mirrors that of mountaineer Reinhold Messner, who found a 300-year-old Tibetan manuscript saying the Yeti was a variety of bear. Yeti believers will pore over the latest findings, but they are far from a substantial conclusion, and Professor Sykes says the results need more interpretation. Enthusiasts may oblige, but for how long can the search be for footprints before the next step needs to be looking for bones?